Today, I have a great new product that's gonna take your shooting to the next level. What is that product? Well, it's this little guy right up here, right on the end of my barrel. The Mantis X10. Wanna know how it's gonna take you to the next level? Stay tuned to find out. What is the Mantis X10? Well, it's this little guy right here on the bottom of this gun. When it's mounted to your gun, in this case on this shotgun, the Mantis X10 measures all of the movement that you make in the performance of making a shot. From the time you start your mount, up through your swing and follow through, it's gonna measure all that as, as well as how efficiently you move. So how does that play into why that's important for a shotgun shooter. In order to be the most effective, the most efficient, you want to move from point A to point B as simply and easily as possible. How do you do that? Well, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. If we can minimize the amount of movement that we have when we're moving from our hold or in a low ready position, that's gonna make us much more efficient in our movement to the target. In a minute, I'm gonna demonstrate some of that and how it can improve your shooting. Now the Mantis X10 can also be mounted on rifles, pistols, as well as archery equipment. Where it really shines on a shotgun is showing you that movement that you're making during your shot, whether it's up, down, left, right. The only thing you need after buying the Mantis is you need to go to the app store and download an app either on an iPad, iPhone, Android. I've been shooting this quite a bit this week and I've been learning a lot every time out. I also found that uh, I was inducing errors that I didn't even know that I was doing. So that's one of the things that makes this product really fantastic is it, that it diagnoses things that you may not even see. Without further ado, let's get to shooting it and show you how it's going to make you a better shooter. Okay, so I'm ready to start shooting here. Got my eyes and ears in. Got my app open up on the phone. What I do have to do every time that I open it up is just connect the Mantis with the app on the phone. That's on. I just have to hit connect on my phone and it's going to want to calibrate. I'm going to select American Trap. Load up my shotgun with some Federal Premium Gold Medal Grand. On this first shot, it's going to be kind of a trap setup where the machine is out in front of me. Bird's going to be going straight away. Let's see what the Mantis X has to say about that shot. If you look at the top screen on the bottom side of that, you see the go. Okay, so I was pre-mounted. It's saying that that's when I started my movement. The different colors on the line are the velocity of the gun movement. The red means a very quick movement off the start. And then green is a steady movement. Blue is actually slowing down. Now you'll see that there's a little red crosshairs about three quarters or a little longer up the line. And that's when I actually acquired the target and moved towards it. And then the X is when I took the shot. The white is my follow through. You can see that I swung way out to the right hand side. Um, not very efficient whatsoever. That gray line or gray shaded area. That's from my hold point to where I shot the target. But look how inefficient that movement was. Let's do another one. I think I center punched the clay, but let's look at that one. See if that one's a little more efficient. Now I'm looking at the screen here and you can see same go point. A couple things that I see on the second shot that are different. Obviously it's a straighter line. I did move a little bit to the left, but you'll see that I acquired the target quite a bit sooner than on the first shot that I made. So you can see that the crosshairs are a little bit closer than it was on the first shot to my start. So overall, much more efficient move. You know, you've probably heard the adage, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. And that is definitely true in shotgunning. Uh, you can definitely have overactive hands. If you're jerky fast with your hands, that is not a good thing. Overall, not a bad shot. I stayed within the gray shaded area, which is the goal, but still, I can work on having smoother hands and perfecting that shot a little bit more. So if I look at the bottom half of the screen, you'll see that velocity scale as well as time on the timeline there. Uh, from the time I started moving the gun to the time I acquired the target, it was about 0.25 or a quarter second. And then I shot the target another quarter second later. So from the time I started moving the gun to the time I broke the trigger, broke the bird, it was about a half second. Let's go back to number one you'll see that that shot 
had a lot more movement as we said it was also slower almost a quarter second slower so on a shot like this that's fairly simple not a lot of movement to the shot uh, a quarter seconds a, a lot more time that's an inefficient shot and that right there shows you how much this can help you improve i put my machine over there at about a 90 degree angle so now i'm going to shoot a crossing shot this is going to show us a lot more things that we can learn using the mantis x10 i know this isn't a training video but one thing i want to do on a, a target that has this much motion is i want to set my target break area what the target break area is is I'm intending to break the target right out here in front of me so it's in front of the camera so I'm going to actually put position my stance as if I'm going to shoot right here is I don't want any binding in my hips as I'm swinging through that target where I'm going to be breaking it so that's target break area my hold point is going to be back towards the machine somewhere so I can catch the bird coming out get on it swing and break it in my target break areas I switched in the app to international skeet because then it's going to allow me to start from a low mount position let's get a shot done see what we learn let's look at what the app picked up here now that's interesting so dissecting that shot you can see on the top right hand side in the go my gun is way above where I mount the target which is in the bottom right hand side that little rib looking thing that's where I made my gun mount and then you can see that I followed along the line I found the target fairly late and then I broke the target. A couple quick takeaways that I see looking at the app right here is that my hold point is well above where that target is coming out. So what that means is my gun has to come down a long ways, I mount and then the gun starts to move horizontally. The overall motion, there's a lot of motion down. It's not a very smooth line to the target. You know, it's got a slight arc. There's quite a few changes in velocity including slowing down at the target break. If you're missing targets and you're seeing a lot of blue right as you start to pull the trigger, there's a good indication that you're slowing down and the target is actually, you're not either catching up to the target or you're slowing down enough matching its speed, but the target is actually out in front of you and, and that's why you possibly could be missing. So that's something this could diagnose. Looking down on the bottom on the velocity, fairly large, fast movement, to the mount which would be natural from the mount just over one second to just under 0.5 seconds is the mount and shot you know shooting right in that half half a second you know that's that's not real important what is important is you gain more data and see how you shoot shot after shot after shot so just looking at one shot you might go oh well i did this or did that but what this really can help you with is that as you do multiple shots or shooting sessions, I think that you're gonna to start to see errors that you make regularly that come out. And in fact, this one that I just did right here with my hold point is something that I saw this week as I was just practicing and playing with the Mantis X10 um, that is something that I'm like, huh, I'm making a big movement right off the bat just to get in line with the target. How about we correct that one right now? I'm gonna try and change my hold point so my gun doesn't have to move down so much into the mount. I'm gonna try and get more aligned with the clay where it's coming out of the machine so that motion is smaller and try and make this shot smoother as well. And hopefully I still hit the target with all that thinking going on. Now looking at this shot, what you can see is that I definitely changed where my barrel started and the hold point and the mount are almost in the same spot. I come from underneath the target, which allows me to see the bird from the whole time it comes out. Because if I have my gun up here, actually where the clay has to go behind the gun, you know, I lose that clay for just a, just a fraction of a second, but that's all it takes to kind of throw your vision off. And then you're all already playing the catch up game. Ultimately, I captured the clay much, much faster. That's something that you, you definitely see along this line of travel that's a good thing and then you can see that the overall motion there's less motion to this shot uh, less movement of the gun smoother look at that nice green all the way to the target the gun slows down just a little bit but then it maintains it so i hope from those couple demonstrations you can see how valuable this tool could be in diagnosing either problems that you have with velocity maybe follow through on your shot but not only that, but making your movement as efficient as possible, ultimately making it easier to hit and break more clays than you ever have before. 
Well, congratulations, you stuck with me this far through the video. You're gonna know something that everyone else that cut off a little earlier does not. Steve and I are giving away one of these brand new Mantis X10s. If you would like to win the Mantis X10 from the Gould Brothers, you can check out the link below for all the details and that's gonna show you how you can enter to win a Mantis X10. The only issue that I had with the, the Mantis X10 was that I did have some connective issues, not with connecting it to my device, but where it didn't register shots. What I found is that I would take three shots or four shots and then I would pause for a long time, uh, maybe as I was looking at stuff, and then I'd go back in and then it wouldn't register my next shot or two. If all I did was restart it, meaning I back out and start a new session, not restart the whole process, then the issue went away. So here's my thoughts on the Mantis X10. It's a very valuable tool. It's gonna make you more efficient shooter. It's gonna show you errors and things like even what showed me this week as a professional shooter that my hold point is way too high and how that was visually obstructing me seeing the clay and getting on the clay as fast as I possibly could be. Overall, it's a great product. It's good for shotguns, archery, rifles, and pistols. At least the X10 model is. And my goodness, there's a lot of information to be learned from shooting the Mantis X10 on your firearms. And if you don't, somebody else will, and they're probably gonna be beating you. I just wanna give a huge shout out to Mantis for sending us the X10, letting us review it, test it, and also for sending us one to give to you guys. So remember, check out the description below, follow the link to get signed up for your chance to win a Mantis X10 from the Gould Brothers. As always, remember, it's impossible to hit the shots you never take, so pull that trigger and shoot for your dreams.